Hello, my name is Anna Sterling and today I'm going to show you how to use Wordle. Wordle allows you to create word clouds, which are a visual representation of text. The words that are used most frequently in the writing will grow larger, emphasizing the main points of the writing. To begin, go to wordle.net. You will see when you get to the Wordle homepage that the program is very simple. To get started, simply click on Create Your Own. On this page you see that you need to paste your text into the box to create the word cloud. I recommend typing or copying your text into a word processing program first, as Wordle does not let you save the text entered. I am going to copy the text from an Educause article titled How Students Develop Online Learning Skills by Alan Roper. To do this, I open the Word document where I have saved the text, press Ctrl A to select all the text, and then right click and choose Copy. Then I go back to Wordle and press Ctrl V to paste the text in the box and click Go. Wordle creates a word cloud based on the text I entered. You can see that students and online are mentioned the most in the article because they are the largest in my word cloud. If you are not satisfied with the first word cloud presented, there are a couple of different ways you can manipulate it to get something you like. The first is by clicking on the randomize button below the image. You will see that each time you press it, you are presented with different fonts, layouts, and colors. You can continue clicking randomize until you find a word cloud you like, or you can man manually manipulate the cloud. To manually manipulate the cloud, you have a variety of options available above the image. You can change the font, layout, and color. Once you have your word cloud the way you want it, you will need to use a screen clipping tool to save the image. I recommend using Jing. So to save the image, I will click on my capture option from the Jing sphere and then select the area I want to capture using the crosshairs. Once I select the area, I can save the image by clicking on Capture Image from the Jing options. Then choose Save and navigate to where I want to save the image. I can now insert the image into a document, website, or CMS using the appropriate insert image command. That's all there is to it. Now go create something amazing.